Bro, the game was going crazy. Mm -hmm. Fans going crazy. Yeah. It's about how I got a knowledge. Sure. Yeah, going back to back. Yeah. It's going back to back. Fans yeah, jumping. Yeah, My exactly. teammates going crazy. Mm -hmm. The co I see coaches. They, they like. Uh, uh, after the game yeah. stuff, everybody on the floor. Every all them coaches is on the floor. Mm -hmm. I ended up going to prep school. Prep school for like post grad year. Post grad. Okay. Uh, which is like my pops, man. It's mm -hmm. like my, it's like my guy, like someone that I talk to to this day. Mm -hmm. um, Coach Floyd out in Tampa, uh, Tag Academy. It was just always a, oh, okay. I was just yeah, yeah, yeah it was a prep school. Prep school out in Florida. And okay. that's when everything started to shape, as in basketball, mm -hmm. I'm starting to get recruited. Like okay, yeah. all the top schools yeah. that- Prep schools is where that introduces you to that exposure. But the exposure was, you know, I don't want to say it's no exposure in Connecticut, mm -hmm. But outside of Connecticut, it's way yeah, more exposure. Yeah, definitely. Right? And it's, too, just, yeah. it's just, a, it's a fact. Mm -hmm. So, um, sure. Because I know, because um, not to interrupt, no, but good. you know, I went to the same time as more with EJ. So like, oh I yeah, my guy, EJ, my guy, yeah. yeah. No. EJ yeah. tell you, yeah. EJ so, tell you the work I was putting in at the YMCA when mm -hmm. he was young yeah, and a nice. pudgy kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. EJ tell you. Yeah. So you're back to the Florida. Yeah. Oh yeah, so back to Florida. You know, I'm getting recruited by all types of schools. I had to get an SAT. Oh, God. SAT yeah, is the one that shot me. I hate that. Yeah. Well, that shot me. So one day, mm -hmm. we in study hall. So Coach Floyd put me to the, the side of the uh, table. Yeah. He's like, look. So he, he pointed out, um, I think it was Flip Murray. Flip Murray went to a Juco, right? So I'm like, Junior College. I'm like, can we call him? Go on, can we go? Yeah. He's like, oh, this is what you can have to do because your SAT don't match with your GPA. Mm -hmm. so I'm like, Coach Floyd, man, like this is not, that's not me. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm not doing it. You know, we talked about to the SAT. I took yeah. that joint four times. Four times. Yeah, so, I think I took about the same four time. Four times, like three or four. Yeah. Four hours sitting yeah, there, sitting like there. I'm just like, yo, this is not for me. Hungry. <laughs> hungry. Yeah, you're hungry. <laughs> man, you your mind just start to go blank. Like, yeah, this is too long. Yeah, but I just started crying. You know, when he told me that, I'm just like. You tell me I'm not good enough to go to. That's how I was taking the yeah, like, yeah. I can't go here. Yeah. It's like no, it's your grades. Mm -hmm. So okay. you know, I end up going to like three junior colleges. I went to Iowa Western. I went to Lincoln Trail, mm -hmm. and then I went to Moberly. Mm -hmm. So for the people that don't know about junior college, it's basically the same as high school, prep school, whatever. Mm -hmm. But you lose either one year or two years mm -hmm. of eligibility. Um, to check when you transfer. Mm -hmm. So um, when I found that out, that was another thing that kind of like was like, yeah. getting to me because I wanted to be four years out of Division One school, mm -hmm. but it just turned out I couldn't, couldn't do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so when I went to Iowa Western, mm -hmm. so a lot of people don't know this. So before I went to Iowa Western, I was home. Literally home, mm -hmm. not going out with no friends. Yeah, yeah. My guys telling me, "Yo, come out." I'm like, yeah. "Yo, bro, no." You feel me? Because yeah. basketball is all I know at yeah. that point, right? You got to yeah. And they, they just guys. doing what they doing, like they're going out doing what they do. Yeah, yeah. So before I went to Iowa Western, literally I was waking up at five, five thirty in the morning, running down Blue Hills. Yeah, yeah. Right. I'm running down Blue Hills. So for them people that was riding down Blue Hills, mm -hmm. and y'all see seen somebody here, running, so, uh, that was me. Yeah. I had the hoodie on, the shorts, early morning, early morning just focus, just, grinding. just running. So yeah. Coach Floyd hit me up. He said, uh, you know, around this time, I'm still getting a lot of uh, letters from junior colleges, top mm -hmm. junior colleges. Yeah. So Iowa Westerns, which is a top junior college, mm -hmm. hit me up and was like, yo, we want to bring you in for the second semester and red shirt me and I'll play the next year. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that didn't work out. Um, I went there, but it just, I ain't like that. It wasn't my style, yeah, right, yeah. to play. Yeah, it just didn't fit. Right, right. so I end up, so now, this is another thing. That summer, going into, I think that was 20. All right, so we back, back into 2012. Where was that? Summer 2012, you said? Uh, summer, summer 2012 is where um, 
I didn't know where I was going, so it just goes back to when we first started when I was talking about just not knowing where I was going. So that was probably like the toughest challenge for me. Mm -hmm. So literally this is like a week before school, junior college is about to start. Mm -hmm. I don't know where I'm going. It's after I left Iowa Western. Yeah, yeah. So me and my uh my friend Ariel, we are sending out emails to everyone that's possible. Every right? junior college. Like literally yeah. every junior college. Yeah, like, yeah, facts. We sent I can tell you how many I sent. I think I sent over 150 emails to oh, like damn near all of them, right? To all the junior colleges. Yeah. And um one hit me back. Oh yeah. Just one. And it was literally the week before school started. Mm -hmm. And it was Lincoln Trail, so they hit me up. Oh, yeah. And um I ended up going there for that year. They ain't turn out how I wanted to turn out, mm -hmm. but you know, I still appreciate the opportunity that was given to me. Um but I ended up leaving there too. Just didn't feel like that situation was gonna be the best okay. situation for me. Um and then I committed to Coach Smith. He helped me be me okay. as a basketball player. He let me do what was best for the team, for myself, um, to put us in position to win. He also put me in position to win. And um, I appreciate him for that. And Coach Bell, Coach Bell, shout out to Coach Bell. Um these are all coaches at the school? At Mobley. At Mobley. This is at Mobley. Okay. Coach Smith and Coach Bell. So Mobley is in Missouri. Okay. And the town is literally like mm -hmm. closed off. Like it was really nothing to do but play yeah. basketball. How so, was it? Now real quick before we get to the next part. Yeah. How was it for like, you know, you going to all these different schools. You you this hard for a kid, you know, going to all these different schools, different places, different towns. Like how was that for you? Like transitioning different the places? Transition it was you gotta think at that time I'm just thinking basketball. Like, yeah, I just yes, it don't I just even matter. Play. It don't matter. matter. I just wanna play. Yeah, so you know, like so, I think about it later on, like, yo, yeah. like I really had these opportunities mm -hmm. to do this. You feel and me? going through so many different experiences while you're doing what you love. So, right. Yeah. So um, you know, I got the mobile and from there, all them schools that was recruiting me when I was in prep school mm -hmm. came all back. Mm -hmm. So they all came back. So it's probably what two years, three years mm -hmm. later, they came right all right back. Mm -hmm. So when they now the offers are on the table because now they're looking at my grades. My mm -hmm. grades is good. So it's my mm -hmm. sophomore year, mm -hmm. like I said, because it takes two years off. Two years. Right? Yep. There's a game. Literally, it's conference play. No, it wasn't conference play. We playing the number one team in the country, Indian Hills. Okay. They got all the top players. So these yeah, are the yeah, top. Uh, yeah. Nah, these are the top players that was ranked in yeah, high school, yeah. right? Okay. But they just didn't have the grades. They, the okay. they was all American. Uh, do name something like. Jalen Kendrick, like he was ranked above Kyrie Irving and everything. So, you know, I'm just like, dang. So before the game started, I'm working out. This is after class, I'm working out. Yeah. I see somebody walking down on like a black and purple um, jumpsuit. Mm -hmm. So he walking down. So he goes, I'm like, I'm looking for Mike. So I'm like, I'm like, I'm like Mike Anderson? He's like, yeah, Mike Anderson. I was like, yeah, that's me. I said, man, hey, how you doing? So it was Coach Shaw. So he was the assistant coach at University of Washington at the time. Okay. And this is this is crazy. Like yeah, yeah. everything just comes like goes in a circle, circle yeah, full yeah. circle. I kid you not, when I was in prep school, it was all like my whole like all my teammates and Jameer, this is when I IT, Isaiah Thomas, mm -hmm. uh, was playing for Washington. Okay. He was playing like Oregon or something like that. Mm -hmm. And I'm just looking at the school and I'm looking at the, the games on ESPN and I'm just like, damn, that's a good school. Yeah. But my dream school is Michigan State. Mm -hmm. So like, so, but I'm just like, yo, I could play at that school. But this yeah. is in my head then. I didn't say it to them though. Yeah, yeah. I just said it myself. Mm -hmm. So it's just crazy that, you know, Coach Shaw came and introduced himself. So let me just skip. So the game started. Mm -hmm. Bro, literally, it's probably like 35 or 40 coaches in here. Oh, yeah. All so I had yeah. zero points in the first half, mm -hmm. zero. So I'm like, damn, I don't think I'm just doing too much. Like, yeah. this is, it's probably going. I'm just, I'm just like, yo, let me just relax. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Literally, the second half start, I scored 15 points in a row. Yeah. Bro, the game was going crazy. Mm-hmm. Fans going crazy. Yeah. It's about how I got a holiday. Sure. Yeah, going back to back. Yeah. It's going back to back. Fans yeah, jumping. Yeah, My exactly. teammates going crazy. Mm-hmm. The co- I see coaches. They, they like, uh, after the game yeah. stuff, everybody on the floor. Mm-hmm. Every All them coaches is on the floor. Mm-hmm. They trying to. They might. They all trying yeah, to talk. They all trying to talk to you. I'm just like, yo, this is a blind. Like, yeah, I yeah. can't. I can't really fathom like yeah, what's that's really that's going, that's going on. What's going on? Right. Yeah, so yeah. um, you know, I'm getting offers and getting calls. Mm-hmm. So now this is the stressful part. Mm-hmm. I'm dealing with this by myself. Yeah, I don't got no father figure around. Yeah, so I'm just like, man, I don't know what to do. Like this is a lot. Mm-hmm. Co- letters coming in and 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 I'm getting calls back to back to back to back. So I'm like, yo, I'm, sometimes bro, I wouldn't even text him back. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't pick up that's every like call. Yeah, so now I'm just like, all right, what I'm going to do? I got to come up with top five, top ten. So literally, yeah. I was supposed to take a visit to um, South Florida. Um, mm-hmm. Coach Heath was there in Washington called. Mm-hmm. So Washington called. He was like, um, why don't you come take a visit? Like, come take a visit? Yeah. You know, I don't, I don't want to burn a bad bridge, mm-hmm. but I should have talked to the coach that South Florida, like, telling him I wasn't coming. Yeah, yeah. It was going to be unofficial anyways. Mm-hmm. So I ended up going to Washington. You know, mm-hmm. Coach Romar, Coach Romar, shout out Coach Romar. Love yeah. Coach Romar. That's mm-hmm. like my people's, you mm-hmm. know, Coach Chills. Mm-hmm. Um, they want to commit on the spot. On the spot. Mm-hmm. On the spot, like, yeah. yo, come in. Yeah. Like, like, this, is, this is it. Yeah, facts. They produce pros. Mm-hmm. Every year, all yep. guards. So I'm like, yo, I could be that. That could be sure. me. Definitely. You know, I ended up c- committing to Washington. Mm-hmm. Uh, me and my my brother Splash, mm-hmm. me and the, me and the other uh, room. So I'm like, man, I'm about to commit to Washington. Mm-hmm. So um, I called with Omar, and I was like, come to Washington. Okay. He was like, man, he was hype. Yeah, he sure. was hype. So yeah, mind you. Know. This is this is crazy now. Mm-hmm. Amongst that, right, there were three players they were looking at. Mm-hmm. Well, two other players. Mm-hmm. It was the last. I think it was the last scholarship. It was Aaron Gordon and Zach Levine. Oh, so now I'm looking at reports like. So now there's more motivation. Mm-hmm. I'm seeing reports like, oh, they went with the JUCO kid because they don't use like usually they don't really go JUCO. Them type of schools don't really go JUCO. So for them, for them to get me, yeah. it was like, yo, okay, he must be that good because mm-hmm. we have Aaron Gordon and yeah. we have Zach Levine. Like, yeah, so what? So, um, you know, I was seeing like little, little comments. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think he's that good, or yeah. uh, he 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 has to be that good because if he's not that good, uh, some some this over for Washington or something mm-hmm. like that. So I'm just like. The little- my comments, all that. Yeah. yeah. So um, I just took it for, for what it was, and I was just working out that summer. That was it. I had committed there, mm-hmm. went there the next year. Um, yeah, and my first. So just to skip, you know, my the second game we played in like New York, third game played in New York. That was the first time my mom ever watched me play. Mm-hmm. So where we played that was Madison Square Garden, which mm-hmm. is like the best That's place it. to play at. Mm-hmm. We playing on ESPN. We playing Indiana. I'm just like, yo, this guy's to be. Yeah. I'm nervous a little bit now. When, yeah, I, yeah. when I get on the court, yeah, yeah, yeah. my mom here, yeah. my people's here, all my guys is watching back home. Yeah, ESPN. Like, so mind you, I used to like be on house. Facebook back in high school. Like all I want to do is a, it's a, like a bar from J Cole, mm-hmm. and it's like all I want to do is ball on ESPN. Yeah, and that's what you're doing. You well, love it. You I got that. It's Dated yeah, back yeah, to like oh like, eight. Yeah. Bro, I was playing on ESPN in front of thousands of people. Mm-hmm. I'm playing at I'm playing on the garden the garden oh, floor yeah, with yeah, legends. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, feel yeah, me? Even though it was in the NBA, yeah, this yeah. is still yeah, that that stage. Yeah, so yeah. um me being it was just like yo, I belong here, yeah, like this is yeah, me. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. So man, after the game we lost. But I'm kind of getting emotional because it was just crazy. Like my mom yeah, watching my first game, mm-hmm. and she hearing the fans and hearing people like yo, this is her son. Yeah, facts. So you know, 
even when she saw me after the game, she just smiled. Yeah. So it was just like one of those, y'all don't want to get the moment she you know? Yeah, yeah, so, um, yeah. yeah, I think that was dope. Ended up playing at Washington for two years. Mm-hmm. In certain cases, I, I wish it would it, it would have went better, but I'm glad with the with the outcome. Uh, okay. So, you know, get past Washington. It's the summer and going into my pro year. Mm-hmm. So, I was supposed to play on the Brooklyn Nets, mm-hmm. some league team, mm-hmm. and that didn't end up happening. I had a bone bruise on my knee. Oh, okay. And um, at the time, I didn't know. I just knew my just, knee was messed up. Yeah, you in just the playing summer, through right? it. Not I was really playing through it. it. So in the summer, um, I'm trying to play in a pro man. Oh, and I just couldn't play. Uh, I couldn't be like, Harper. Harper Pro Man. So, uh, so my left knee, I just, first injury ever, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, and it's crazy. It happened at the time that, where yeah. my whole life could change, right? Mm-hmm. So fast forward, it's probably like August, September. Now, the G League, mm-hmm. my agent is hitting me up like, oh, you going to do the G League? Uh, mm-hmm. So um, Sean Kent, uh, his son, Sean Kent Jr. hit me up. was like, yo, the coach for um, the Philadelphia 76ers G League team wanna, want you to come work out and do a tryout. Mm-hmm. And mind you, they had the third pick in the, uh, the draft. And I you know, I hit up the coach and I was just like, I, I can't go. I like, yeah. can't make it. So I would think like my agent is telling yeah. everybody what's going on. Yeah. So literally the day before the draft, I put my name. He's like, do you want to just put your name in? And uh, yeah. like, all right, I'm just, cause I'm not thinking I'm gonna get picked. I'll just do it. Yeah. At the time, I'm depressed, I'm stressed, I don't know what's, I'm just like, yo, my, that whole summer, I'm just uh, chilling with my daughter. Mm-hmm. And, I, and the house is chilling with my daughter. Um, so I ended up, next day, I'm asleep. I get a call at like 2 p.m. This the time yeah. I woke up, yeah. call at 2 p.m. Coach Roma call. He let me, congratulations. I'm like, congratulations, what are you yeah, talking about? Like, I just won't care, but you just he's like you ain't you ain't here? I'm like, no. Nah. He's like, well we just got drafted. I'm like, for real? I'm like, yeah. He's like, oh the Raptors had took you with the nineteenth pick, so nineteenth pick. Mm-hmm. Out of bro, out of all the names that mm-hmm. get put into the draft, right? Yeah, yeah. Mind you, I'm first round, bro, that's big. I'm I, I come from Harvard. Yeah, that don't come by yeah. you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I don't care how anybody try to downplay or whatever it can be, me. Coming from any situation yeah. I came from, bro, that's a yeah. win regardless. Yeah, that is. So um, after I hung up with Coach Romar, he was telling me something about OKC had the 11th pick, mm-hmm. but it was something with the papers or something, something like that. Okay. And uh, you know I hung up with Coach Romar, and then Raptors called. Yep. And they called and I sat up quick. <laughs> I sat up quick. I take this. Like, yeah, it's like man, we we happy to have you. Um, I don't even know what to say, bro. Yeah. I'm just like, yo, just this, like is, yeah. bro, this is like NBA. I don't care. Yeah. Bro, that's NBA. Yeah. Nobody can tell me nothing about mm-hmm. But it's GV. No, it's NBA. Like, you're not about yeah, to downplay yeah. nothing. No, yeah. Right? So, um, you're like, we happy to have you and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So, that was a Saturday, bro. I had a report there on a Monday. I didn't have the passport. Oh, shit. Sure. Toronto. Mm-hmm. Um, Man, my mom is cooking. She's cooking in the room. And she's cooking in the kitchen. So bro, I, was, I said, Ma, I have just got drafted. Yeah. Bro, she, you should see her face. Like, she is. It was no kind of no. better feeling than seeing her mm-hmm. face like yeah. that, bro. Same so that, yeah. she's cooking or whatever. And then I went to go sit on the um, outside. Mm-hmm. Twitter busting. <laughs> IG busting. I don't really care for social media, yeah, yeah, but it's the like, like the feedback I was getting, yeah. right? And um, I'm just sitting there, I'm getting text messages. I just have my head down, bro. I had to put my phone down. I was a little chilly, but yeah, it's not like, like I had to really take it in. I had to really take it in. Like if this is, bro, I'm really that close to being where I'm yeah, supposed yeah. to be, bro. Yeah. 